Welcome in, Warrior fans. Chris English here, and join with me is the players of the game. We've got two of them for you, Isaiah Milan and Luis Medeiros, and as well, head coach Lance Von Vogt. Coach, you guys take down the Menlo Oaks 98-82 to in a thrilling game. You and I were talking before the game, hours before the game, about establishing a sense of consistency. Can you talk about the consistent play you got from your boys tonight for all 40 minutes? Well, yeah, you know, I thought the energy was great. We were a little casual with the ball early, six turnovers in the first five minutes, and then defensively, we didn't, we didn't uh, you know, stop their guards for about the first 30 minutes of the game but then the last 10 minutes of the game we really showed what we can be defensively we're gonna watch that film so we can see what we did good and right and we can keep continuing to do that you know uh, really liked what I got out of the guard play these two guys right here Lewis carried us in the first half and Zay took over in the second half you know two guys that 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 have the ability to play really well for us and tonight they did it it was fantastic and this Golden State Athletic Conference is no joke. It is some serious competition. And you guys split your earlier road trip earlier on in the season against Life Pacific and Hope International. Can you just talk about what it means to just continue to grind out these wins in conference play? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, every game that you play is the most important game of the season. And uh, all of these games are like they count double because you're playing against teams that are capable of being in the national rankings. So, uh, you know, we know that if we want to reach our ultimate goals for the season, we've got to just take them one game at a time. There are many one game seasons and uh, you know, win as many of those as we can and see if we like where we stand at the end of the year. It's all about the hard work that we put in every day. Uh, practice consistency leads to game consistency. But before I turn over the mic, you know, this is your last broadcast. It's my last time doing an interview with you. And once a warrior, always a warrior. Appreciate your heart graduating with us. And uh, I've got, I got a little going away present for you, Chris. We love you. You're always welcome back. And uh, thank you for doing such a great job on the mic. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure to cover Warrior Athletics, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate now, you, Coach. These two guys keep it clean. All right, I'm, I'm going to trust you seniors that we're going to be all right. <laughs> and for those that don't know, I spoke with these two players before the game, and I looked at each of them in the eye. I told both of them, hey, I want to see a big game from you guys tonight. They combined for 50 points between the two of them. I'll start here with Luis Medeiros. You had 27 points, a season high, 13 rebounds. Can you just take us through that ball game and what was working with, for you all game because you were dialed in? Uh, my teammates, you know, the whole season they've been telling me just stay locked in, stay locked in. And they found me today. They found me in my, my spots. You know, Zay found me every time I was open. Even when I wasn't open, they were like, Lou, get open, you're hot, keep going. And, it, you know, I can't, I just give credit to them because, you know, all I do is shoot and they pass me the ball. <laughs> And now over to Isaiah Milan. You ended the game with 23 points. However, at the end of the first half, you had eight. You were kind of surveying the floor. You had a ton of assists in the game. You were kind of feeling the game out. But then you really turned on the Jets there in the second half. What was working for you? Um, honestly, just like trying to be, trying to have an all-around game, Chris. Just like first half, kind of feeling the game out. I seen that uh, Lou was really hot in the first half, so I wanted to get him the ball, look for him more. And then as the second half came, I knew I had to continue to be a point guard and just kind of just find my guys and then kind of just make the right read, man. And that was really about it. Everything else just kind of just over so. The Warriors' homestand will continue with a pair of games against the Masters and Westmont. Signing off for one final time, my name is Chris English. God bless. Go Warriors. Ah! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.